Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are looking at equities and E-mini S&Ps. End of the week on a down note, yeah, we saw some declines and yeah, we saw some sellers with some risks rising around the world, but it doesn't change the trend. It isn't gonna change what's gonna, what we're gonna see moving forward and that is higher equity prices, despite the fact that we saw these declines uh, late on Friday, really only means that there's a buying opportunity for someone else out there. And with more stock buybacks coming, I think that you're going to see just that. Uh, maybe maybe equity prices get below 2,800. You might want to start to, uh, you probably look at it a little bit differently. But even on a sell-off like we saw today in the minis, we were nowhere near getting through 2,800, which I think is still a key level in the, in the, in the from a technical perspective. Really, you got to see a break of, of much bigger. Uh, you know, you're talking two to maybe even 5% before you're really going to shake uh, shake the leaves from the trees in equities. And if you look at volatility, yeah, we, we saw a considerable decline on a Friday uh, when the bond market was kind of telling you there was a risk off trade going on. And yeah, volatility didn't really do a lot. It was the highest we've seen uh, since early August, which I guess is about a week. And yeah, no fear yet in this market. So despite a sell-off, despite concerns, the, the VIX index was higher, but not by much and certainly not telling anyone anything they didn't already know, which is this is likely more of a buying opportunity than a, a fear-driven sell-off. And lastly, let's look at those risks. What are the risk off trade? How can we say there's a risk off trade? Everything's fine. And, and ultimately, the bond market's telling you one thing while the equity market's telling you another. And the equity market has been trending higher, you know, not just this year, not just last year. It's been moving for quite some time while the bond market has seen a few hiccups. But in the last, I'd say, over, since the end of uh, middle of July, we've seen the bond market pricing in something quite differently with yields st staying stubbornly low despite supply, while equities have, have enjoyed uh, you know, an ascension rally with mixed earnings and with the idea that the Federal Reserve, Federal Reserve is happy with the way the economy is booming and we're going to continue to see numbers that we've seen over the last several quarters and GDP will continue to be uh, picked up, fueled by those tax cuts. So I think ultimately uh, what we're seeing today is maybe a modest risk off. You've got a lot of longs in the market that may be looking to get off and I don't know if they're going to put their money into something a little less risky like gold, which is on sale by the way, uh, or they're just going to wait for an, a new buying opportunity in equities. But whatever we saw on Friday, Friday, late Thursday and Friday was certainly not going to be the new trend. The trend remains in place and is firm, which is higher equity prices ahead. Uh, very, still very near those all-time highs. That might be one of the reasons why we're seeing a modest sell is that you get to those all-time highs and you can't break through them. Maybe there's a modest pullback coming when you can get in at cheaper levels. So right now, I'm not changing anything on equities. You stay long equities. Watch the bond market for concerns in the from a geopolitical and a macro basis. But right now, it is steady as she goes higher despite the sell-off Thursday and Friday. This is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.